Yo, did you see? Did you look at the update log? No. What they what they changed? We got a, we got a new enemy, bro. What wasps? What they add? Wasps, bro. What? Yeah. That's gonna be like mosquitoes, but more annoying. Worse, like. probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. uh, and then they they added in the building stuff with the gnats and whatnot. But since we are in like survival mode, uh, you have to enable it in the creative or whatever, like the server options. Mm. Um. Besides that, they added in a lot more cosmetics for like building, but. I think that was really the big one. Camera gonna work? There we go. A little more zoomed in maybe than I like, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> they added a base coziness uh, system. So the more cozy your base is, uh, you get a buff. Yep, oh, that's cool. Oh, like, it decreases your hunger. Buffs are like... Yeah, so it'll decrease your hunger, decrease your thirst drain, and... Uh, it, well, it says and slow healing. Oh, like it'll heal you as well. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm for it. At least it gives a reason to use decor as opposed to just having it look nice. And Nate, what I was gonna say, man, if you're just using them all for repairing, then just do the repairing and throw the shit away. Like, bro. Um. So oh, we're in the... in a lab. Did we ever get the? The, the thing from the lab, yeah. I don't no, remember. we didn't because we need to fight that boss, and we weren't able to fight the. We weren't able to oh, kill it. Oh yeah, they so added we need a to new leave boss and by come the way. Back. Spoilers. Well, listen, it's right in the, the log. All right. You're in major finals freakout. Just realized next week is the last week you have to study, my guy. Look, you don't need to freak out. Just realize that means it's almost over, man. And then you won't have to deal with it anymore. Focus on oh, the positives of it, you know what I mean? They I'm uh, heading back improved... to the base, by the way, whenever you finally get in. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Uh, they improved turrets, it. although we never had turrets, so I don't we know. We have one improved. started, but we never oh, finished you can, building uh, it. Configure... Or no, I built the turret, we just never made ammo for it. Oh. Uh, they configured mutations, so you can have load like loadouts now that you can uh, swap between. That's pretty cool. I appreciate uh, that. Arrows will now auto pick up only for the player who shot the arrows. As, that a as opposed makes to your sense. friends taking yeah. them. Uh, I get it. Uh, added new uh, equipment as well. Bro, are you serious right now? Oh, and status effects applied to creatures now appear beneath the enemy's health bar while you are attacking them. So, like, uh -huh. bro, there was down in down in the the black ant hill here, right? There was a boulder that could be blown up, and I just happened to have a bomb on me, so I was like, "Oh, screw it, dude, I'll blow it up." There's just vines behind it that you can't pass. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. what was the point? That was such a waste. Huh. The only classes you have to wait a whole year to take them. You're not gonna fail it, dude. You got this. You got this, my guy. All right. Well, gotta find my way out of here. I don't remember anything. <laughs> well, it's not gonna be that way. Oh, mushrooms. Not that we really need mushrooms, I guess. But what kind of gear should we get, dude? I don't know, bro. My uh, update is stuck on 23% and will not progress. Mine got stuck a couple times too, but it moves eventually. I think it'll be okay. I don't think it'll take too, too long for you. Uh, ba -da -ba. I don't remember how to get out of here. I just want to go home, home, home. I think I found it. Yeah, I remember this. You're getting close. I really like the heals from the mosquito needle thing that we have. So I wonder if there's like a, a stronger variant of that. Yeah. With the heals. 
And we also need to at least make level two hammers. <laughs> we don't necessarily yeah. need to make the level three, but at the very least get level two hammers. Oh, that would be nice. Is that clay? I don't think we need clay for anything, but I, I, I think I have the inventory space, so might as well real quick. You hope so? Though at least you won't fail as bad as one of your team members might. The dude apparently retains information for literally 10 sec seconds before he's constantly asking us what he's supposed to do. Had to pick up a slack and your team leader. You're not supposed to be doing this much work. Bruh, that sucks. That sucks for both of you, honestly. <laughs> like, put yourself in his shoes for a second. Like, dude, it's really annoying for you. Don't get me wrong. I feel for you. But, like, that also really sucks for that guy if that's really how it is. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if that's, if he can literally only retain information for like 10 minutes and then he's done, like, or 10 seconds, whatever you said. Like, bro, I joke all the time about how bad my memory is, but even I can retain information for longer than that sometimes. Depends on the situation here, all right? Like, if I'm studying my flashcards for Japanese, probably not. But, like, <laughs> but like working on something, I'm, I'm okay with that. I can deal with that. We shot up uh, 2% now, up to 28. Nice. And then it gave me an hour and a uh, five minute. Uh, nice. Well, it has to do, like, in the middle of everything. It does the unpacking and stuff, too, though. So, yes, we want to go this way. Hmm. So you said, so it's in the the what options? Like the, the server options where you can. Uh, so like I have to swap the can, custom like, game, the game is what you're saying? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Okay. Uh, game settings. Swap to custom. Uh, it disables achievements, though. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Done. All right. Um, all recipes unlocked is locked. Some options cannot be changed in game. Holy yoked. Oh, cool. That has everything unlocked from the get go. Friendly fire, stamina drain, drop resources, handy net. <laughs> Wait. What? what? Handy Nat is a helper you can activate and control to fly around and design bases with ease. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't see the option so I... <clears> though, <throat> guy. For like the new bugs and stuff. What? That was the, the new bug. Handy the Nat. The just Yeah, the wasp is just added into the game like game automatically. The gnat was the building bug that I was talking about. That seems more like a creative mode thing, though. I mean, I'll turn it on, because whatever. Just to see what it's about. That's what it is for, is creative mode. Oh. Well, too late. It's already turned on. <laughs> I guess I could just turn Bro, it back off. Because but... I have nothing else to do. I'm just reading a newsletter that I get sent in my email. Bro, they're using ketamine as a uh, depression, depression therapy. treatment. Yeah, I know. I get advertisements for it all the time. Bro, cats, cats for horses. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I've even watched some like videos on it. There's some interesting uh, facts about it. It uh, has been shown to work slightly better than traditional depression medication does. Um, but firsthand accounts that I've watched, the problem with it is that, like, it helps a lot for a short period of time, but then over the course of, like, a couple of weeks, the effectiveness of it seems to go down. Hmm. Um, <laughs> unless you up your dose. <laughs> so, like, Isn't my it? personal headcanon here is just, yeah, you get high and that makes you feel better about your life for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it even says that it's a fast-acting antidepressant, yes. Yes. which just sounds like it's a... Don't uh, get me wrong. I'm interested in trying it, and not because it gives you a high, but because <laughs> traditional antidepressants have never worked for me, um, both in that they didn't have very much of an effect, and also they had some very negative effects. So, like, I'm interested in it for that, but honest to God, I think the better option 
would probably be they uh, are doing trials on magic mushrooms for depression treatment. And uh, that has been shown to be faster acting. Not as fast acting as ketamine, <laughs> because it's not meant to give you a high. Um, but faster acting than, than traditional depressants and uh, more effective. Why are there... Dude, there's freaking... Are we suddenly on hard mode or something? Why? Am I going the wrong way? No? I said we just do crack. There's fucking, like, wolf spiders and stuff just walking around. Why? Ow! I'm gonna die! Holy shit! Okay, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Bro, do you remember the game Dino Crisis? We had it yeah, the, I remember one, Dino the Crisis. second game. Yeah. I was watching a I mean, dude I don't do remember like a, that much about it, but I remember it. I just remember us having the second one on PS1, and I remember yeah, okay. the main character. <clears throat> and I knew that obviously because we had the second one that there was a first one, but I I assumed they quit making them after that. I didn't realize it was made by the same like Capcom or who makes Resident Evil. Not I'm seriously gonna die. I just used a health pack and I'm gonna die. Yeah. Ah, that means I'm gonna respawn all the way. Well, wait, no. Can I respawn somewhere like else? Not where I slept at? Yeah, kind of. Uh, Anyways. Uh, kid case? What is mm. kid case? So I was watching a, uh, a guy like talk about the series it's like a two hour long video right <clears throat> and he's going through the first one and then the second one the first one was really interesting because uh it was all 3d unlike the resident evil games at the time and then with the second one they wanted to add more enemies because they made it more kind of action oriented so they went back to a uh, a 2d background but anyways so i'm looking at the video and it's like halfway done and he's done talking about the second game and i'm like what bro they made a third game and I've no never shit. heard of it, What's it called? in my life. It came out for the Xbox, just Dino Crisis 3. Oh, well, but that makes sense, I guess. They were, they were going to... So Dino Crisis 2, without spoiling too much, uh, ends in a cliffhanger. Hmm. So then they were making Dino Crisis 3 to be like a direct follow-up. And they already had, like I think, a demo and whatnot. And it was supposed to take place in a city. Well, then 9-11 happened. And all their they promotional material was like... It was yeah. like a ruined city. So they switch it up and they're like, well, we're just going to do com something completely different. So they're like, let's put it in space and make it not even connected to the first two games. Uh, suffice to say, That's, that didn't go well. Lilo I didn't realize Stitch the was supposed to actually like whenever Stitch is flying away in the spaceship and whatnot. That was mm -hmm. actually meant to be an airplane flying through a city. Hmm. That whole thing. And then like crash landing. And they had to cancel that because they felt like yeah. it wasn't appropriate with the events that just happened. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, Rue, what'd you do, man? Before he gets to talking again. I'm picking on you. You're good, bro. I didn't realize the first two Dino Crisis games for them kind of ending the series after the third one were actually highly rated. I don't I'm remember so much about it. <laughs> like, I remember it's a thing, but other than that, I don't really remember anything about them. Mm. The first one's like straight up Resident Evil with dinosaurs. Um, the second one is a little bit more action oriented. Think like Resident Evil Three, but maybe even more actiony. Nice. Um, and then the third one is just its own thing. Trash. <laughs> yeah. You got a digital drawing tablet to hook up to their computer. You also found a nostalgia mini grill that you're hoping you can grill chicken in. Nostalgia Mini Grill. Why does that sound vaguely familiar? But no, the 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 drawing tablet. That's awesome, dude. I uh, I have one. I like never use it though. But they're a ton of fun. So were was uh, Dino Crisis one and two? Were both of them made for PS one? One, yeah. Dino okay. Crisis two came out shortly after the PS two came out, but it still did well. Um. But yeah, they're both PS1 games. And then um, Capcom had that fallout with PlayStation around that time when the third game came out. So they diverted it over to Xbox because it was 
Um, was that before or after their deal with Nintendo? I don't even remember. I, remember. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I don't remember them having a fight. Yeah, Capcom. so Capcom, uh, Capcom was very public that they hated the PlayStation 2, like, working with it. Hmm. Um, so Sony was kind of like, screw you, and they were like, screw you. And then they made that deal where they they were like, we're going to release five games, including our numbered Resident Evil games on the GameCube. Well, then the and GameCube did poorly. What? I was going to say. Yeah, the GameCube did poorly. What? So then they <laughs> retroactively ported it to all the other consoles. That worked out well for them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my game's done. Hey. I wonder how Nintendo felt about that. I'm surprised they didn't have some legal write-up where they were like, you can't port this. I assume maybe it's for a certain amount of years or something. Mini but... Donut Maker Waffle Stick Maker. I remember the Mini Donut Maker, at least. I don't remember the Waffle Stick Maker. I'm going to try out digital art. And Nostalgia has a lot of mini things, like a Mini Griddle, Mini Bunt Cake Maker, Mini Sandwich Maker. I think maybe Mini Stuff is just cool. <laughs> Other things you can't think of. Uh, da -da -da -da. The Egg Maker. They have an Egg Maker? They have all kinds of things, huh? I don't know why, Noodle, you want a hard-boiled egg maker so much when you can just, like, throw them in the rice cooker. <laughs> like, that's that's a hard-boiled egg maker right there. You just throw it in the top of the egg maker or the, the rice cooker with, uh like, a half cup of water or something in the bottom and turn it on. That's <laughs> Come back in 15 minutes, and there you go. You got hard-boiled eggs. You don't need a, a special appliance for it. We already got a special the... appliance for it. I want to play the new Star Wars games. Jedi, well, the newest one's what? Jedi Survivor? Survivor, What yeah. was the other one? Uh, Fallen I own the Order. other one. Or yeah. Fallen Order, something along those lines. Fall yeah, something like that. <clears throat> I own it. I just haven't gotten around to playing it. I also own it, but I am not a Star Wars fan. I do oh, want to try Wars. the game because the game looks really cool. But, like, I don't, I don't know, man. You don't like Star Wars? I'm surprised. No. Dude, have you not heard You're a Star about... Trek Ah, uh, yeah. silence! What's up, my guy? I literally just took a drink, but this is for you. Hydrate! And no, uh, I don't really care for Star Trek either. I, I like Star Trek more than I like Star Wars, though. Because at least Star Trek explains what's going on and why you should like these people and dislike those people. Listen... <clears throat> Yeah, well, Star Wars space. episode I don't know three if, just like, tells you, "Hey, hate these people and like these people," and that's it. I could probably say it that gives you no reason Listen, why. If you you're not sure if you can Nazis. say it, don't say it. It's just. The I mean, Nazi. that's not like a band word, but you got space Nazis. God damn it! And midochlorians or whatever the shit they're called. That's Jesus all you need Christ, to know. The midochlorians. That's all you need to know, bro. <laughs> it's fucking dumb, dude. And then you're off. <laughs> Star Wars is so dumb. Like, Listen, I want to try the good watching side... them because I do <clears throat> think, like, I'll like them more now. Like, the newer ones and whatnot. But the original one is just so, like, episode three Listen. is so bad. And I tried to watch episode four and I got bored as fuck and just fell asleep. So, all you need to know, the good side has a little green dude. And that's why they're good. Grogu! Grogu's pretty cool. I do like Grogu. Bro, not... No, the OG Grogu. <laughs> Yoda. Yeah, well, he's ugly as shit, though. Grogu's Wait, you like dope, The Mandalorian, but... don't you? I haven't watched it. I just like Grogu. What? <laughs> Bro, The Mandalorian... Even if you don't like Star Wars, The Mandalorian's fantastic. I haven't I... watched the newest season. I've heard iffy things about the newest season. But The Mandalorian it's... is very good. Star Wars is just so shit that I've never taken the time to, to watch it, man. I just... <laughs> I just can't get into it. So I, it's on Have my watched... list, though. It's on my list. Better safe than sorry. Like, uh, I do plan on watching it eventually. Rogue One is really like a really good movie as well. I, I mean, it's still a... connected to the main uh, three movies, the original trilogy, but you don't have to watch the original trilogy. I just got to Star Wars Battlefront it. 2 for PS2. Oh, like so. the original? Yeah. I have the remake. I have the what? original. Oh, you got it like actually for the PS2. Yeah, for PS2. I was about to say, we have it on Steam. Do, do, do I? <laughs> I probably do. I yeah, you, we all played it. Me, you, <laughs> David, and Payne. I don't fucking remember, dude. I think Payne was there. Where are you? I'm at the house. Oh, I should probably... Oh, God. How do I even get out of here?
Sweet rope. Crude rope. So we have plant fiber. Is it possible to like break stuff down? You can trash it, but like I don't really want to trash I, some of this <clears> stuff, like our old armor and stuff. But yeah, I don't think going to break to, it down once it's. Cause... I feel like I'm going towards the boss battle. Trash. Okay, trash, no, I'm not. Trash. What levels the B shoulder pads? They're level two. I guess I won't get rid of them. When you leave, do you go left bad. or right? Bro, you're asking the wrong person. I just ran around in circles Bro, you until I uh. got out. Like, I don't remember. That's this like is how difficult me down. Fallout 3 could be at times. Bro, there's no such thing as a difficult Fallout game. Legit. Because all you do is just inject yourself with 16 million stim packs. Like... That, like, you just put that bitch on the maximum difficulty and you never die. Um, I was about to say, all Bethesda games, maybe in the beginning, if you play on maximum difficulty, a little bit of like Skyrim. I feel like you can. I haven't played Fallout 4 on max difficulty, but Skyrim on the legendary, like when they updated it, is fucking yeah. ridiculous. Like, and it's not even that it's necessarily hard. If you don't mind spending 16 years, um, well, that's what killing they do. one they thing, then that's fine. But health, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, they they up. Well, it's not that they up their health. I don't think it's that you deal less damage can, and yeah. take more damage. Um, is more what it is. But it's just like, but you rah. can get so much healing, you can just cheese your way. Yeah, which is why in right. my runs that I'm doing, that's one of the the things. One of the rules is that uh. I can't heal in battle unless it's like magic or something automatic. So like in Fallout, the auto stim packs, for instance, would be fine. You're making me want to play Fallout, bro. Maybe I'll download Fallout. I've been wanting to, but I need to beat Morrowind first. I'm also having a ton of fun with Morrowind though. So like, just yeah. Bethesda makes good games. Keep calling it an egg maker, but it's an egg cooker. I mean, semantics aside, is there really a difference between an egg maker and an egg cooker? Like, semantically, sure, chickens would be egg makers, but, like, <laughs> I think it's okay to call an egg cooker an egg maker, though. Damn you, Nat! But you get bitch. Don't fall in that water. So take those 16 suits of power armor that you had and sell a couple of them, get some pa uh, caps, and then use the caps to... What Fallout are they playing? Buy some more stem packs, dude. Uh, three. Oh, I was about to say, if it's New Vegas, just go gamble, bro. Unless you have low luck, then good luck. But nah, dude. Playing the best Fallout game? Debatable. <laughs> it's uh, reviewed the best. And it's only by two favorite. points. <laughs> two points is two stupid points, ass, my guy. Stupid ass, but or no, it was more than two points. Fallout. What was the story? Bethesda told Obsidian that they had to get a ninety or above on Metacritic <laughs> to make a sequel, and they got like an eighty-nine. And then Fallout Four comes out, and it got like an eighty-five. Look, I I think Fallout Four is better world wise. And gameplay wise, I do think Fallout 4 is better in everything except for like story execution than both New Vegas and 3 for that matter. But it's a lot more modernized. Yeah, exactly. But Fallout 3, man, the world is just so much better than New Vegas. I like the factions. The factions Vegas are better. cool. The factions are cool, but the world sucks. <laughs> like, and a lot of the uh, mission design suck too. Unless you're okay just fast traveling between three points six um, times. Yeah, that's what I do, bro. Well, you're mission. you're not a fast traveler. Like, that's the thing. I know, but even if you do fast travel, it's still annoying. Like, the mission is just go to this place you've been to ten times, talk to this person. Now fast travel back to me. Talk to me. Now fast travel back to that person you were just talking to, and then yeah, fast dog. travel back to me again. That's a shitty Listen, mission, dude. <laughs> like, it's a post-apocalyptic <laughs> drama. All right. It's fucking dumb. And like, I know they were on a limited schedule and stuff. I'm not saying Obsidian did a bad job. I still enjoy New Vegas, but Fallout 3 is better by by a decent bit. 
um, listen to actually Vegas sit down and best game let, ever to made. explore and whatnot. But uh, I will say I, I agree that Obsidian made or took the engine and made it better, right? Like it has better I, gunplay, it has better faction system, it has. I'm going uh, to trigger you real quick. Yeah. I think if Obsidian had a proper development time. They could currently make a better Fallout game than Bethesda. I don't think so, man. Because while I haven't played it, and they I've... got a lot more experience now in yeah, RPGs. but like look at look at their space Fallout game that they made. Like it got a lot of hype in the beginning, and then it all just died. Like because actually because playing it's... the game for because... for any period of time, people just like it got boring after a while. It just got too samey. Like that's Obsidian's thing, dude. <laughs> like <laughs> that's be listen. I love what the fuck is going on. My, I'm, no, I'm just collecting place, basic resources while I'm waiting for you to get your ass home. I'm I'm stuck. Okay, just die and respawn at the kid case. I oh, I'm coming. Uh, <clears throat> what? Not on Twitch, dude. Come on. Listen, I'm off camera. It's fine. Um. <laughs> What was I gonna say? Oh, I feel like people. I didn't play the game. I feel like people got too hyped up thinking it was going to be a like Fallout ripoff game. In reality, it was more Borderlands esque. Which is fair. Like I said, I haven't played the game either, and I watched like an in-depth review on it that it's made some linear, really cool. It? That made some really cool points um, about it. Uh, but like, I haven't played the game personally, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. But basically, it sounds like just obsidian's ml like they make some cool mechanics but their world building is just kind of lacking like <laughs> hear me out general. hear me out bethesda and obsidian just team up dog honestly if bethesda wrote the story and made the world and then obsidian did all of the gameplay stuff i, I would be 100 percent down with okay. that I because i do think obsidian makes better games like to play the game i think obsidian does it better but for a story experience, dude, I think they should Bethesda just incorporate does a lot the two better, companies but... because I'm getting sick. They make of the same damn 20... games, anyways. <laughs> like... I'm getting sick of Bethesda's 20 year development, development cycle. cycle. Yeah, I don't think giving Bethesda more companies is gonna fix that though. Like... <laughs> I was about to say they're just slow, dog. Yeah. It's because they're waiting for God Howard to come up with his ideas. <laughs> But they bought like three companies before Microsoft bought them, and it didn't speed up shit, dude. <laughs> like, oh, they released two mobile games, yay! <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, did you see the thing that a modder did with Chat GPT? Oh, uh, you're talking about the Fallout or Skyrim thing? I I saw you yeah. talking about it. That's all I no, saw. No, that was pain. Oh well, whoever it was. It. But I I slightly read about it on PC Gamer, and then Payne posted it not long after. Um. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I wonder how Scroll well that works. And you're getting impatient, honestly. Honestly, though. When do you think that's going to release? Like, 2030? So we need berries. Let's go collect berries. Uh, Probably. <laughs> Fallout, or Elder Scrolls 6. Legit, though? Okay, so... Starfield's scheduled to release, what, next year now? Because it keeps getting pushed back? I, this No, this November. Is it is it this year finally? I, I thought think, it got yeah, pushed I think back it is. again. No, it but... was it was gonna come out in April or uh, okay. okay March, and then they pushed it back to November. To November. Now. All right, so that's coming out this year. Um, I we think. know for a fact they've been working on Elder Scrolls in the background the entire time. Uh, and they reuse the same engine for every game they make. So how much hardcore like how much hardcore development do you think has gone into? In the Outer so Scrolls far. Six, not much to be honest with you. I was about to say, I but I think a lot of the hardcore development comes down to upgrading the engine for like next gen and all the stuff they want to be able to do and whatnot. So hopefully, a lot of that Which, got done between Fallout seventy six Star and Starfield. I was about um, to say they're probably just using Star, not that they're using Starfield as a template, but a lot of their experience in the upgraded engine should hopefully come from developing Starfield. So hopefully. Right. Anyone they can take that experience. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, it, so yeah. I think a lot of the hardcore developments probably done like back end stuff is probably done for that. I'm sure they'll need to upgrade some specific things for what they want to do with Elder Scrolls Six, but hopefully that's a large chunk of it. Um. So my my legitimate guess here, we're in the year 2023. I legitimately 2028. think 2028 or 2029. 
Yeah, uh, like, food. which uh, is remember, roughly... Like, bro, why are you eating? We need to go to bed. You're just going to be hungry when you wake go up. Go to bed? It's early, dog. No, it's not, man. The sun's going down. <laughs> bro, it's 436. What kind of old man are you? The sun's fucking going down either way. Um, But anyways, now, I've been saying 2028 20, since... Well, since they announced Elder Scrolls Six, to be honest with you, um, when did the when fact was that, that Starfield's taking so a couple years ago? Uh, I feel like three, it was four it's years been ago, longer, three or four years ago, yeah. But uh, since Starfield's taking them so long, I'm gonna push it back by about a year and say probably 2029. Dog, that announcement trailer was five years ago. Nice, nice, bro. In five years, Bethesda released oblivion fallout 3 skyrim and fallout new vegas came out in the time between us getting that announcement trailer and bethesda releasing nothing what skyrim came out within five years 2011 oblivion, oblivion came out 2006 fallout 3 was 2008 and fallout oh. new vegas was 2010 or 11 you can't really count new vegas though because no but i'm just saying like yeah Bro, that five year span, we got all of the Bethesda like and they shit made, that you could ever want. They made Skyrim two, they made Skyrim three, <laughs> they made Fallout four, Fallout seventy six, Fallout Mobile, Skyrim Mobile, Skyrim for Alexa. Like, oh. they they've been making a lot of shit, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> Just not the shit you want them to make. <laughs> 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 uh, as shitty as it is though but yeah no i uh yeah i don't know man i mean i hope it doesn't take them as long on the one hand but on the other hand i'd rather it take them that long and it be a good game than yeah, just have it be dog. Shit. it's gonna come so, out like, and be buggy like it'll be good i don't care play, if it's like, buggy play, as long but... as it's fun yeah that's that's my thing like I fully expect every Bethesda game to be full of six million bugs, but as long as it's playable, like not in an unplayable state, and as long as it's fun, then I don't really care if it's buggy. Like, I'll get over that. That's just, it's not a Bethesda game at this point if it's not a buggy piece of shit. That's true. Skyrim for the fridge, Skyrim Tesla edition. Yeah, dude. See, they've been working on it, man. Gotta cut them some slack. All right, uh, and let's be honest, they're going to release Fallout 5 in about three years. So, there's that. Maybe Fallout, or maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Wait, when do you think years. 5 is going to come out? Like three years, years is what I originally said, but probably about four years. Didn't they, they just announce that it was like, it hasn't under undergone development yet, has it? Not that they've announced, but I'm sure it's under development. Are you coming, I man? To... I could full heartedly see them outsourcing the next Fallout to another, like not the I numbered Fallout. Legitimately, but like, like I hate Microsoft buying up companies. I hate any company buying out companies to begin with. But it especially pisses me off that they bought Obsidian and Bethesda, because like now Microsoft has two companies making the same same damn games <laughs> and competing with each other. <laughs> like yeah. it's so fucking dumb. <laughs> like I, I can't it's just ah, dude. Legitimately, because Obsidian's working on that Avalon game, which is supposed to be their their Skyrim killer, Obsidian Skyrim killer. They mm -hmm. have the Fallout in space. Something tells that's me supposed they're not to be their Fallout like game that anymore. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But still. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they have their. Uh, or yeah, I guess just those two. Like they have their Fallout in space to compete with Fallout, and then they have their Avalon to compete with with Elder Scrolls. And then the same damn company is making Elder Scrolls and Fallout. <laughs> like they're competing <laughs> with themselves. It's so dumb, dude legitimately they should just mm. condense the two companies into one and be like all right you guys are just working on the more notable series is now uh fallout and and uh whatchamacallit and elder scrolls and i guess starfield if it ends up being good can have elements from outer worlds have you played the bioshock games i've only played the first one 
Did you enjoy it? The first one? Yeah, it was good. I, I don't think it's as good as, like, the hype that people give it, but, like, it was good. Yeah. Did you play it when it came out? Uh, probably a couple years after. Maybe oh, a few okay. years after. I was gonna say, I, I feel like a lot of the hype it has to do with when it came out, maybe, but... Uh, uh, anyways, I only played part of it. I never finished it, but I was doing some reading on it. Because I was curious about the story and how the third one tied into it. Um... Bro, so Insomniac Games, right? Yeah. They make Bioshock 1, well, they make they don't make Bioshock 2, but they've ended up making um Bioshock Infinite. And then I look and it's like defunct now. I'm like, what happened? Like that's boom boom, a lot of like two very successful games. And then they made what was that really famous game from like the early two thousands that uh Bioshock was based on? Sy System Shock? Is that what Bioshock was based on? There is a game yeah. series called System Shock. I think I they made System Shock 2. Insomniac Games did. Anyways, regardless. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, why they go to Funk? What's the dude's name who ran uh, Insomniac Games? He's a famous developer. I have no idea. I can't remember. Anyways, so he was like, yeah, I'm sick of working on like big AAA games. And whoever owned them at the time, or still owns them, was like, um, they were fine with him shutting the company down and then he like handpicked some developers to make a smaller studio that wasn't going to focus on like triple A games anymore because he was just like burnt out on okay. teams like that sure yeah so it's called like ghost story games or ghost ghost story I can't remember anyways ghost so, Tsushima, I, yeah. so they release a trailer for their game that they've been working on and he only he has like 20 employees now dog it's literally Bioshock. <laughs> I mean, not, look, yeah. I'm not surprised, honestly, though. Like, like, bro, you shut all, down really? an entire company because you were like, I'm done making these games. And you go out I mean, and you make the same exact game, bro. Yeah, but I mean, it like, looks like a big triple A game. That's exactly what Chris or not Chris out on. Um, what's his fucking name the the dudes that made call of duty did the same exact shit like <laughs> we're sick what, of working respawn? on call of duty yeah yeah we're sick of making call of duty so then they leave start so working make... for ea instead of activision and then they make titanfall which is just call titanfall, of duty with titans like... which is pretty much what call of duty there for a while turned into I know, with the that's jet what I'm saying. Like, like it's the it's the same damn thing like and then the Halo developers, they turn around and make Destiny, which that, yeah. I mean, I guess was a little more sci-fi esque, but at, still like not at least, that like, different. At like, least Bungie <laughs> and them didn't, wasn't like, yeah, we're gonna, we don't want to make the same exact game. We and you know, we're gonna lay off seven hundred employees. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, bro, I'm just saying, they're all shit, dude. Like all big development <laughs> studios do shit like that. What it honestly is, is just that, like, they had some crazy idea for something that they wanted to introduce into the game. And Papa, Microsoft, or EA, or Activision, or whoever was like, no, you're not allowed to do that. And they were like, well, fuck you, then I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that's all it is, dude. But honestly, that's why so all these companies need to stop selling themselves to Activision, EA, and Microsoft. And then they can keep but creative freedom to do whatever the dog. fuck they want. Like... Okay, but, like, Bethesda is one of the, like, Obsidian makes sense. They've been struggling for a long time. So, like, them selling themselves out, honestly, that makes sense. It was probably for the best. But, like, Bethesda or Zenimax, they were making bank for a long time, dude. Oh, yeah. They did not need to sell themselves to anyone. Activision? Come on, dude. <laughs> like... Activision does not need Daddy <laughs> Microsoft's money. Like, they are fine. <laughs> Although I don't know if y'all. Although heard. Activision was wasn't weren't they going through some shit? With Blizzard? Well, yeah, it's just because their CEO is a pervert. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> allegedly. Um, throw that oh, allegedly in pissed. there. Like, but uh, yeah, some some along those lines. Like financially, they were fine as far as I'm aware. Yeah. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, anyways, I don't know if you guys have heard, but, uh, the deal has actually been blocked in the UK. Um, yeah, Microsoft that. is not allowed to buy Activision. So if, if it passes here in the American side, they'll have to spin off Activision UK as either a different company or just close entirely. Um, 
but the American side is set for trial here in like a week or something like that. Because the American government also doesn't want it to happen. So we'll see how all that ends up going down. So what are we doing? Uh, I've getting just been following you and talking. Okay. For what? We need berry leather for different things. Like okay. different upgraded weapons and armor and stuff. My god, the mosquitoes, one? dude. <laughs> Peter Molyneux has done similar. Peter Molyneux's wild, dude. <laughs> like, a couple YouTubers that I watch hate Peter Molyneux. <laughs> they, they do nothing but make fun of him in every video. And, like, I kind of get it, though. Because Peter Molyneux is famous for over-promising and under-delivering. Like, saying how realistic his games are going to be or all these features that they're going to have and whatnot. And then it comes out and it's just a pretty standard RPG game. <laughs> like, or whatever, you know what I mean? Listen, like, he's just really well-known. Like, Spore, for instance. Fable was realistic, oof, dog. Oof. I haven't played. I've only played some of Fable 1. I like, banged a hooker without a condom and got an STD. <laughs> every, every... <laughs> Every Peter Molyneux game I've played, I've enjoyed, but I don't think any of them were like, like massive, groundbreaking. yeah, groundbreaking <clears throat> things. Like, like they're always, always acts yeah, like they're going to be. exactly. Yo, I need a mosquito beak. You problem. got one? My, yeah. my sword's about to break. Yeah, I should have a couple from the mosquitoes we killed. Yeah, there you go. I dropped one. You know what game we should play after we beat this? Hmm gonna be a long long time of playing it if we do this once every other week thing uh divinity dog <laughs> oh man yeah that would be a few years listen that's fine Literally. i got time <laughs> i know you're getting old but listen i'm still young uh, i'm gonna be 69 i'm gonna be retiring from my listen, real job by the time we stream finish that more game. And then let us do like twice a week. For me to like live, cause dog. No, 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 <laughs> that's no, no, the no, only no. way that's Listen, gonna happen. I I kn I know what you did the other day. You had time, dog. What do you? I want to come. I want to come visit you. Well, no, I have a stream schedule. I can't just stream randomly. And do you know why yes, I went home can. early? I'm no, sure I can, I but there's questions. no point in that. I have a fucking ear infection, my guy. <laughs> Listen, that sounds like a you problem, dog. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to stream when I can't even hear anything? You don't need to hear ears so full They of shit. got text. Bro, I can't they got hear text. you if that's the case. Bro. You don't need to hear me. I just spew dumb shit. You tripping. That's, this is true. Don't we all, though? That's Listen, I got depression. I'm on that ketamine, Honestly. you know? Slurp nasty water. No, I don't want to slurp the nasty water. I, I'm tempted to try ketamine therapy, though. I ain't even gonna lie, dude. Like, <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say I'm tempted to try ketamine. <laughs> no, ketamine therapy. I'm not doing that shit. Nate says he's in. <laughs> he's gonna do that ketamine therapy with us. Let's just do that crack cocaine <laughs> therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try the shrooms. Did I ever tell you guys that I was marketed um, poisonous mushrooms on Facebook? <laughs> Wait, Goodbye. what? Like, straight up. Like, I... I, I the name of the this. mushroom sounded familiar. So I was like, I gotta Google this shit and see exactly what it is. So I Google it and look it up. And straight up, they're just poisonous fucking mushrooms. Like, if you eat just the right amount of them, you can trip off of it. But if you eat, like, two extra mushrooms, you're dead. <laughs> it's did, like, did you buy them? <laughs> no, man. They're like, <laughs> they're like gummies or some shit. Like they take the extract of it and put it into gummies and shit, and then sell it in little playful containers for kids. And it's just like, dude, like regular magic mushrooms. I understand. That's fine if you want to like sell them like that. Um, CBD and THC gummies and shit like that. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, you know. But fucking shrooms where if I eat an extra one of them gummies, I'm probably going to die. That seems like a little bit much, my guy. I don't, I don't know about fun, all that. <laughs> I don't even see any more of these fucking blueberries, dude. Need that risk at? factor. Where are these blueberries at, though? You're not against the special K therapy, but you meant you're in for divinity. I, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I do want to try that. Or I would try. I don't know if I want to. Cause I feel like I just get hooked on ketamine to be honest with you. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when I'm pretty sure story, that's what though. happened. Uh, but the shroom therapy, legit. If it if it passes trials and gets released, I might talk to someone about doing shrooms for my depression. I'd and probably hook you up with a guy. 
Like, I mean, I know where to get shrooms from if I just <laughs> want to get some off the street, but like... Just hang out outside of your workplace. <laughs> Honestly, like I've been offered LSD. LSD. <laughs> yeah, outside of my workplace. For anyone on stream who, who hasn't heard this before, I was outside. I used to smoke. I used to be a smoker. Terrible habit. Quit it. Y'all should too if you do. Um, and, uh, this guy that I, that I know comes up to me while I'm out there and that used to work there and he, he had quit like a few months prior or whatever. And he's like, Hey man, I'm like, Hey, how you doing? And he's like, I'm good. Hey, you want to, you want to take some LSD? And I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, you want to do some acid? And I'm like, dude, I'm working. He's like, yeah, it's fine. Just one hit. He opens up his fucking wallet and he's just got a baggie full of papers. That's got like anime girls printed this, on it. This man was wearing like a <laughs> trench like... coat or something. <laughs> no, no. And I'm like, bro, I think I'm good on that. Thank you though. And he's like, all right, man. Well, if you change your mind, just let me know. I got plenty. And I'm just like, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, so yeah, that's, uh, yep. And also, I don't know if you can see me, but I look like a guy that would smoke the marijuana. Thank you for the five bits, by the way, Noodle. Um, I don't. I don't smoke weed anymore. Um, but I have that you look about me. Seeds, though? Every once in a while. Uh, but I have that look about me. So, like, I would get people all the time, man. Just random people I've never met in my life would run up to me. Not run up to me. Walk up to me while I'm, like, outside <laughs> smoking or whatever. And would be like... Hey man, where can I get some weed at? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. I'd be a little sketched it's out like... if someone ran up to me outside <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> They'd just be like, yo, dude, where can I get some weed at? And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> and they're like, come on, you holding out on me. I know you got some weed. And I'm like, dude, I don't I don't smoke. I don't I don't sell weed. And they're like, All right, man, whatever. And then they just keep walk away from me all pissed off, like, like, dude. <laughs> just because I got long hair and a beard and generally pretty chill vibes doesn't mean that I'm over here smoking that dank and shit all day every day like, <laughs> yeah obviously <laughs> huh if it is who you're guessing he probably had a beanie and some graphic tee no it's not who you're thinking i don't think i mean this guy did wear beanies every once in a while but i don't think it's who you're thinking because i don't think he would have worked there when you worked at walmart what am i being attacked by there's a fucking lawn light over here oh man did you get any berries my guy yeah, I got oh, uh, 11 chunks. Nice. Gonna get some pieces off this Oreo. Oh, shit. Never mind. You need a level 2 hammer. Hey, yeah. Alright, well, I guess we can go back to base now. How do we get the gnat thing? So that we can fly around instead of running around all over the place. I don't know. I didn't read that. Deeply oh, shit. Long. Hello. I didn't know there were a bunch of bombardier beetles around here, which oh, honestly is fine. We probably need some of their parts for shit too, so. Ow. Back here, you bastards. No, it's definitely not who I'm talking about, Nate. I'm not 100% sure who you're talking about, to be honest with you, but the guy that, that offered me LSD <laughs> worked there a lot longer than a few months. Had a nice convo with Anubis and Osiris to confirm that KFC is being bullshit right now. I could have told you that, my guy. <laughs> I'm not big. <laughs> Every job is bullshit. There you go. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm joking with you, though, dude. How are they being bullshit, though? What are they doing? Vent to us, man. S spill the tea, as the kids say. Is that still a thing that kids say? I don't... don't let the red mice bite. Sometimes. I don't really know. Sometimes? Okay. What is it now? Is it just something about, like, jizzing all over the place? Is that how you spread gossip now? Dude, so, like, I get to work today. gossip? Right. I don't know. Yeah. I get to work today, and uh, they fucking... The, the one of the girls that, that works there came up to me Yo. and was like, hey... Oh shit! Hi there. Bro. Run yeah, away. you just <sighs> just run away. You're fine. Anyways, one of the girls I work with walks up to me and is like, "Hey, look at this record over here that I was just told I had." Bro, to pull off he's the still show. attacking me. And it's uh, it's fucking, it's Tyler the Creator's album. Do you know what Tyler the Creator's new record's called? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I don't. It's called I'm Scum dead. Fuck Flower Boy. 
That's great. <laughs> so, of course, they pulled it off the fucking shelves. Like, I don't know if I can get you up, dude. Yeah, I can't get you up. Oh, my God. Just run, you say. Won't aggro him, even though I'm dying over here. On, I see Max. how it is. Oh, so close. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> now your turn to get me, my guy. <laughs> you got you got 30 seconds. All right, it's all right. And we can always just come back for our backpacks too. It's yeah, I'm gonna die. Long, but <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So we had to pull those off the shelf today because scumfuck flower boy. Apparently that was too inappropriate. <laughs> And, like, it, it wasn't even, like, censored on the packaging or anything. It only has the name of the record on the side of it, like, not on the front or anything. On the front, it's just Tyler, the creator, with, um, with, like, some bees and shit in this, this like, outdoor environment. Like, it's no big deal. But then on the side of it, it just says, Scumfuck Flower Boy. And it's like, okay, that's, <laughs> guess we can't have that out. Good times, good times. The company Bro, why is it so is dark? It's 4 p.m. What the hell, Rue? Have you tried applying anywhere else? I feel like I missed a message in there. Uh, it's getting worse. Glitched. Last week, they only scheduled you four hours for the weekend. Then the day you were supposed to work, you were told not to come in. Looks like they're setting you up for it again. That is bullshit, dude. Yeah, that sucks. What's glitched, man? My game. Everything's dark. Like, black. Nice. Or is guy. it just that dark out? Nah, it's like midday. Not midday, yeah, like mid-evening, no, I guess. It's so. Everything's blacked out for me. Yeah, sounds like your game's a little fucked, my guy. Hopefully when we go to sleep, I'm going to get my bag. Taking summer hope. classes. I can't see nothing, though. Back. That's good. Just, I got my you bag. just need to get the hell away from KFC, man. Wait, who, who's working at KFC? Brew. Oh. Noodle likes how you're freaking out, and I'm just continuing the conversation. What else do you want me to do, man? He's always freaking out about something. Like, somebody's got to be the level-headed one. Yeah, I got that ketamine keeping keep me chill over here. <laughs> but no, legit, though, the dude that I watched that tried it um, was like, yeah, it worked really well for me for the first few days, and I'm not going to lie. It gave me, like, a little bit of a feeling. I wouldn't say, like, high, but just content, you know? Like, just happy for the first time in a long time. Um, but then after about a week, I noticed Bro, that it wasn't really working anymore. So I started taking, or I kept taking it, <clears throat> but it wasn't really doing anything for me. So about a week later, instead of, I don't remember what his dosage actually was. It was the one that you pump in your nose, the spray. So he's like, instead of like one pump, I figured I'll just try two. And then that worked and it worked for me really well. So I just kept doing two pumps. But then after a few weeks, it just kind of, well, it stopped working for me, so then I just did three, and that's when I realized that maybe this wasn't the best uh, option in the world. <laughs> like, <laughs> so the secret to beating depression is to just get high, and then you don't care about all the bullshit that's depressing you. That's uh, that was the the long and short of it. To be to be clear, that's not a recommendation from me, fellas. It sounds like um, a recommendation. Speak I gotta listen to, to my older speak brother. to your doctor or whatever about what options are right for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> sounds legit. Paul is still yet to be seen since the scholarship is a good chunk of money, but who knows? Hopefully you get it. Yes, hopefully you do, my guy. Just expose the secret recipe room get lightly high specifically yeah yeah just lightly high and then you get more lightly high and then you repeat that until you die from ODing on ketamine apparently <laughs> sounds like a great idea it's fucking dumb dude <laughs> all right uh so we're still waiting for the berry leather to actually get made we don't need the shop I don't think 20 rounds what the fuck are pointy rounds? For the, um, one of the turds. Oh, okay, okay. I think. So we don't actually have any level 3 weapons available to us. We only have level 2 weapons available to us. Do 
What do we need to unlock level 3 weapons? It's like, there is the Spider Fang Dagger, which I, I'm pretty sure is the Fighter Spang Dagger that I've heard is pretty good. But we need to kill Wolf Spiders to get that. Because you need not only Spider Venom, but the Spider Fangs. And then there's the Black Ant Sword. We could try that out. But they're both only level 2. Damage is 1 and a one and 3 quarters. Uh, our current weapon is 1 and 1 quarter. So it does do like... What's that? 50% more damage than our current weapons? <clears throat> you have the sudden urge to play Skyrim. Is it all the talk of eating random shrooms and shit like that? Because that always makes me want to play Skyrim too. <laughs> Spiderhood. Go what sleep. What are we wearing right now? Go to sleep, okay. Well, because I need to see if it'll fix my Shit. bug. Otherwise, oh, no, you're I'll good. I don't mind going to sleep. I just wasn't thinking about it. I'm trying to... Dude, how do we unlock level 3 gear? Because, like, we're going to struggle to fight the shit that we're fighting. We can't even kill the boss we need to kill right nope. now. Bug's still here. I'm going to restart. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, there's upgrades. We could upgrade our shit. I didn't think oh. about that. Yeah. Hmm. So what's the... What is it, like an anvil or something? Anvil. Spinning wheel, pilots. Spike traps. Anchors. Side tables, fireplaces. This is all like, this is not useful shit. There it is. Smithing station. Oh, wait. We have a smithing station. We just never finished it. We need brittle whetstone and brittle plating. How the fuck do we get that stuff? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I imagine having the level 2 hammer would probably help. At least it's clean. Ish. Which I think we have everything we need to make a couple of them. You guys talking about my uncle Jared just visited and he's your Skyrim buddy so we talked about the unicorn and quests in the game. Is there a unicorn in Skyrim? I don't remember. Oh. I don't think so. What's the unicorn? Isn't there one in Oblivion? I don't the fucking DLC. remember, dude. <laughs> My memory's so poor. <clears throat> I don't know. There Me could too. be a unicorn in Skyrim for all I know. You know what game I legit kind of want to play? What? But in single player, GTA 5. Oh, I beat GTA 5 three times good game you never beat it have you no because like i was i don't know maybe halfway through it and then you convinced me to play multiplayer with you and i hated it so much i never played the game again multiplayer is not that bad it's fucking boring dude we played golf and tennis and that was the only two fun things He's to do good. in the multiplayer <laughs> like Bro, there's two shit. dew drops can you get these there's two of them laying right here but it won't let me they don't exist with them. <laughs> is there anything on here? Yeah, there is. Can you not see the two on I, here? No. Bro. <laughs> here, what if I, like, stab it? Can, Can you, you see it now? No. Can you just collect it and put it in the thing? Uh, Yeah, that's fine. I guess I can do that. I can't teach. Yeah, no, GTA 5 is great. Uh, single the single player is amazing, well. but yeah, the I did not like the multiplayer at all, though. GTA 4 had a really good single player. I don't know how it holds up. I haven't played There's it. There's a uh, hammer on the ground for you, by the way, too. Oh, you made me a hammer? Yeah. All right, so we need to collect brittle whetstone and brittle plating. How do we make that? Is it a recipe? B-R-I. Brittle whetstone. Oh, okay. You just need shards. So we have a shit ton of that stuff. What's it under, though? Is it under here? Yeah. There 
There we go. Smithing station. So now that we have the smithing station, we can upgrade the mosquito needle. How how does this work? Do I like double click it? Okay. Level one tough takes two brittle whetstone, adds five percent damage and durability. Okay. Upgrade. So I'm gonna do one level on each piece of equipment. Well, not like the hammer and stuff, obviously, but but the uh, food really quick. the armor and whatnot. Wait, what? You're gonna do one level on what? One level on each piece of equipment. Not like the hammer and shovel and all that shit, but hey there, buddy. you know, like the mask and the like, armor and the weapon. Yeah, the combat equipment. Yeah. And then if you want to do one level on each of yours too, I just don't know. Because <clears throat> from what I've read, the marble and stuff is actually a limited resource in the game. Oh, I so never like, dropped my berry chunks. So I just don't want to go like it's hardcore cool with though, it. Isn't it. Well, you have to turn the berry chunks into leather yeah. for them to be useful anyways. I'm going to... Where should I drop them? Is there anything that's empty? Just drop them on the roof, like on the ground. Do they not despawn? If they do, it's not that big of a deal. I've been going up there. and or I guess we could just make another chest up here real quick for like the stuff well, that we want to... All the berry leather is up here now. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I'm going to make a, a chest. Oh, what brittle shards did we need? Marble and quartzite or whatever. We have, I have you can just okay, make them. I have five. Oh, well, I have five brittle marble. You're gonna need more than that shards. to upgrade everything once. Um All right. So <clears throat> chest you upgrade upgraded what? Your sword, you said? Yeah, the, the sword, the well bow and arrow or whatever you have. How do you make the brittle whetstone? Uh, you just go to the crafting thing and search for brittle, and then you craft it. Okay. So you... Yeah, we can probably upgrade each one a couple of times. I just don't want to, like, run out of stuff. Or, like, I don't want me to upgrade everything to level 3 and then you have none. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's going on? Bro, my game is so. Think you good, homie? Right now. Did you upgrade everything once? No. I'm trying to get my brittle whetstone. Did you craft it? No, it wouldn't let me. You it need a bench. Be... Yeah, the workbench. And then I and then I went on the workbench, and then it wouldn't pop up. Where is it, it? You were probably under the wrong there category. It it's the yeah, first I was. Category. I'm actually gonna uh, upgrade everything craft? to level two. Uh, I don't know, like forty or fifty probably of each what's the other thing that you need the brittle whetstone and brittle marble that's all you need but yeah go ahead and upgrade everything to level two because that's what i'm doing and there should be more than enough for for that you said marble for the other one yeah it's not actually not well, just search for brittle, dude, and both of them will I come did. up. Brittle whetstone and brittle plating? plating. Yeah, which is made from marble. Oh, my goodness. Mushroom slurry. What does the mushroom slurry do again? I'm going to make one. Oh, shit, that makes ten. <laughs> well. And plant slurry. Oh, that's used for, like, the smoothies, isn't it? Or something. 
Yeah, that's used for smoothies. What recipes do we have? Workers' comp. Calling strength and heals. We should take some smoothies with us when we go. Because the smoothies all yeah. have that, like, bulk healing in one big go. Buzz on the rocks. I'm trying to figure out which one's, like, the easiest one to make. Oh, this is all red amp parts. The workers' comp is definitely the easiest one to make. Although, fuzz on the rocks is pretty easy to make. The only thing we would need to farm is some clay. Um, and it ups your max health. So yeah, I'm going to make myself like... I made myself 10 fuzz on the rocks. Because that's just much better healing than the shit we've been using. Which actually, I'm just going to replace our normal healing item fucking fiber stuff with fuzz on rocks. There we go, dude. We need another basket somewhere. Do you upgrade everything to level 2? Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't need a pebble hammer, just trash. That's fine. Nello, what's up, man? Welcome. Welcome, 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 dude. Uh, how's my food? I am actually very hungry. Mm. Let's go ahead and eat the nachos. Eat the nachos, whatever. All right. <laughs> Should we upgrade again? Are the is the uh... brittle shit used for anything else? Uh, it is used for one other thing. The brittle plating <clears throat> is. Oh, yo, we could make uh, hielbasa. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the, the AoE heal. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. I made a chest, by the way, for all of the whetstone and marble stuff. Oh, okay. I need right to here mine. next to the spinning wheel, which not the best place for it, probably, but whatever. It's great. You had this thing fat format to use as external storage for your PS4, but it wasn't working, so you plug into your computer, and what do I see? It's fucking empty. Ugh. Sounds like you had some corruption at some point. That sucks, man. I had that happen with, uh... I don't even remember what it was now, man. That was refreshing. Oh, the SD card I was using for my 3D printer. Had it formatted, put some stuff on it, took it downstairs to pop in the 3D printer, and it was just empty. I was like, what the fuck? I literally just put stuff on it and then brought it back upstairs, and yeah, same thing. Just showed up as empty. I had to reformat it and put everything on it again. It must have. I must have accidentally popped it out while it was doing something or something, and just, yeah. You had so many games Yo, and save uh, date on <laughs> it. That sucks, dude. Upgrading your equipment automatically. Uh fixes wow. it oh does it that's pretty sick yeah i didn't realize that <clears throat> repair that's the word i was looking for. all right so do we want to try you think we're good or should we do another level i mean might as well try it or do you want to try another level or how do much another level we have 56 it takes three is it three for each three for each that's three six nine twelve if you have two mass yeah we can do another level on our armor at least each of us. Upgrade and upgrade. There we go. Oh, and we can do our weapon too. There's definitely enough for us to do our weapons too. Okay. That's 20% more damage. And how much more defense? Oh, you're using the station, so I can't, but... A fair bit more defense as well. Nella watched an anime recently that might have been a bit on the what-the-fuck-just-happened side. Which anime? I doubt I've seen it, but curious regardless. 
Oh, upgrading it also unequipped it from my hotbar for some reason. Yeah, it did that the first time, but once I upgraded it, like, continuously, it stopped. I guess maybe because it's, like, adds that little thing to it. Yeah, registering it as a different thing. I don't know. Serial experiment line? La lane? Line? Lun? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how that one's pronounced, but serial experiments. Definitely never heard of it. What are you doing, my guy? I'm going to craft the Hilbasa. Oh, okay. How long does the AoE stick around, do you know, with the Hilbasa? Here, there's two of them. I'm going to give you one. Okay. According to disk management, it looks okay. I mean, I hope you can recover it, Rue, but I don't know, man. It's not sounding too good. Oh, should we sleep first? Uh, no, it's only mm, 127. We it? can probably make our way there. Yeah. I mean, it's underground anyways. Let's go! <clears throat> now we just gotta find it again. Where was it? It was this way. I think. My marker's gone, so it's hard to say for sure, but... It was near the house, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's over by the uh the bug spray. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're heading in the right direction. Roughly. Certainly not very well known. What's it like what's the, the short synopsis for it, you know? Just so I know if it's something I should look up if I'm interested in. My nose is itchy, dude. All that cat even snorting. Yeah, yeah. That ketamine will do that to you, huh? Alright. Uh, what was I going to say? Where I legit do not remember now. Hey, you triggered the question of the day. What is your dream job, chat? And Optijack, what's your dream job, man? Porn star. For real? Like, if there was one thing you could no. do with your life, that's <laughs> that's what it would be? Like, uh, I mean, hey, there's no video. such thing as a wrong answer, but, like... <laughs> uh, nah, probably video game development. Really? Yeah. I, I always try to leave mine for until I hear everyone else's, but, like, I've, I have thought about this one. Like, I do know what my, my dream job would be. It's kind of a cop out a little bit. Zookeeper says noodle. Fair, fair. What about you, Nate? Uh, Rue, what's your guys' dream jobs? I don't think we can make that jump. Yeah, business owner. That's business owner's there. a good one. Bin business owner's a good one. Before I forget, because ADD, I'll definitely forget. Um, something else we need to do, man. Now that we have the level two things, hammers, we need to go around and collect all the molars. Oh, yeah. That we've been ignoring, because we can get power-ups from them, too. That would make us a fair bit stronger. I'm not sure what all is on here, but it looks like it might have something to recover. You're buying a license for this? What? <laughs> I'm guessing the recovery software that you're using or whatever. You have no idea? Streamer, maybe? Really? Streamer would be a pretty fun job, I think. For me, though, legit... It would be not having a job. <laughs> like, that that's my dream job, man. To just, like, obviously I'd still need to do things to, to make money. But, like, to be able to do just whatever I want to do for money, you know? Like, the dream scenario, I guess, would be to just have enough money to just do whatever the fuck I wanted all day. But, like... If, you know, streaming, making video games, because I have a shit ton of interest, man. I just, I like doing a million different things. And I would love to be able to do a little bit of all of that to support myself, to make a living. Um, so, like, that that would be my dream job situation, man. I guess if I had to pick one, it would probably be some sort of online content creator, right? Because, like, you could spin the streaming into like, cause there are people that do video game development streams and stuff like that as well. So like I could do most of my hobbies as content, 
right? Whether it's tinkering or making games or playing games or whatever. So I guess if I had to pick an actual job, it would probably be streaming of some sort. We're going the wrong way, dude. Yeah, We're definitely I'm going the wrong way. Follow on you. There you go. I reset my thing. But like the dream situation would be to just have enough money to not worry about any of that shit. Like you get to play video games all day. Yeah, but like it's not actually that simple though, right? Because like if that's all it took, man, everybody would be a successful streamer. Like, you got to market yourself and make business relations with people for sponsorships and shit. And just like, or I think we went in a circle because this, here's this leaf again. Yeah, here's the jump again. <laughs> I got a, I got a thing now. Um, oh, and I fell. Bro, why'd you try to make the jump? I told you we couldn't make that jump. I made it the first time. But like, that's why I don't try to be a professional streamer because like, it would just take way too much time and energy when I already have a job that is paying my bills, like a job that I have to be do honest, <laughs> to pay my job bills. Is like, the true dream job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retail is 100% the dream job. Man. Like I'm, ex I'm sitting here excited for work tomorrow, bro. That's that's good. Honestly, I'm happy for you, dude. Like that's that's really good. I, that, I mean, I there was some the sarcasm you know in I mean? there. Oh. Although well. honestly, I am enjoying my new. <laughs> that's good. I'm I'm glad. I think I just have a power but... trip currently though. So your dream job is owning a place that encompasses all my hobbies? Yeah, I mean, that would be cool. Like, I've always wanted to open up a... Uh... <laughs> so, like, again, because it encompasses, like, all my hobbies, basically, like, a two-story building, and, like, on one story, there's a small game development studio, and on the other story is, like, a gamer cafe, right? Like, computers where people can play games and hang out and... Uh, have like land parties and shit like that but i like cooking and i think it'd be really cool to have like a restaurant or a bar and grill or something like that so like gamer cafe you know you can get your food and shit but you also can sit around and play video games and have esports tournaments and shit like i think that'd be really cool to do hentai cafe hentai cafe let's go <laughs> Why do I feel like that's a thing in Japan? Uh, I don't know. I know like manga cafes and like nurse maid 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 cafes, <laughs> the and maid cat cafes, cafes and yeah. stuff like that. I know all that thing, so I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if there's at least one hentai cafe somewhere. These worker ants ever get a day off? That's the part that keeps you from going crazy. I mean, fair, but I don't know, man. I hate that sort of stuff. The the like business relations side and things like that, like. I just want to do shit that I think is fun, you know? <laughs> like, that's that's what I do on the internet, man. I just do shit that I think's fun. I don't really care about all the other stuff. Alright, here's the next problem off to check. We gotta find that damn hole again. Did he die? No, I'm still here. I was okay. replying to the text. <laughs> you can tell me the genre. <clears throat> Psychological horror, techno horror, cyberpunk. The themes it covers are mental illness, existentialism, god complexes, suicide. The whole shit. It's an avant-garde piece of sorts. So it's basically Neon Gen Genesis Evangelion. I got you. I'm following, man. I, it's all about you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's about Bro, computers. <laughs> like, have you watched you Neon about Genesis? Owning... No. I, like, I've seen a few it. episodes. It's yeah, good. but you watch it. I heard it's absolutely batshit. Insane. It is bad shit, insane. But you should watch it, man. It's really because good. I found the whole. The people who created it, like, I think, overheard a conversation about Christianity, and they were like, "We're gonna make <laughs> theories about that." You need to watch it, man. It does have like some. I think it's like Catholic influences. I'd probably say. Yeah. But, like, but like, no, I'm not joking. It's not like they did. Yeah. It wasn't. I don't remember the exact story, but yeah, no. They, like, had a brief understanding of Christianity and then ran with it and <laughs> nice. made that anime. Um, Could you imagine, like, how pissed off people would be, like, say, if some Western company just made, like, without really understanding, like, I don't know, Buddhism or something like that? You know, it was just like, let's make an entire fucked up show about this. Like people yeah, but I don't so think the Buddhists off, would be upset. It yeah, would be probably other not. It would be Christian yeah, honestly, Americans or you're right, Western. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even argue with you. Ace Combat 3 has similar themes you just noticed. Wait, Ace Combat, like the video game Ace Combat 3? 
Wait, do you have Charlotte? Oh, hey, Noodle, I forgot to tell you. Charlotte and uh, Gary are in Charlotte's room because I didn't want Katie to steal all the food. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Well, yeah, AC3? The PS1 game? What? It has similar themes? Wait. I've obviously Ace Combat never came out yeah. on the PlayStation One. I've obviously never played the Ace Combat games, dude. <laughs> like, I had no idea Ace Combat games had those kind of themes in it. The new one was for sale. I kind of wanted to buy it. What the new Ace Combat game? Yeah. I don't know if I ever have played one. To be honest, we had one of them for the PlayStation Two. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember where we actually need to go. We're close, but what are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, hey, granola bars. Granola bar on the desk if you want. I suppose. Black hands here, black hands there, black hands get everywhere. Bro, there's like enemies in here. Did we, did they respawn or did we just not explore this part? I think they respawned, broski. Well, like, cause there was the, whatchamacallit's there too. The ant, or the granola bars. The, the granola bars, yeah. Why does it Science. say that you just found to tase it, like, for the first time? Maybe it's from the game update or something? Maybe shit got messed up? Yo, we got bandages over here. What? Where? I just took them. They were on this. Oh, you bastard. Thing. You want some? That's nah, alright. I got a bunch of the, whatchamacallit. First floor is tabletop gaming centered thing and gaming retail. Second floor for specialty market retail basement floor would be aimed at more tech things, video games, streaming, and watch rooms. Nice. Nice. I don't think we fully explored this area. There's a chest out here, too. I don't know, man. What's that one? That's a milk bar. Is it? Oh, let's go. Yeah, we can go break it. Now, here's Yo, the real question. Explosive? Can you pick that up too or no? Pick what up? The milk molar. No, it's gone. Ah, oh, damn, dude. Now, do we both get it though? What's it Wait, under? where is it? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. OS, data, it's under mutations? How the fuck do you use the milk molar? Because <laughs> it was just like a shining thing that I picked up, but I don't know where it goes after you pick it up. Ooh. Ace Combat is mostly about war and politics, but it's anime. That's the franchise. Kind of sounds like is it Xenosaga. Kind of sounds like that. For some reason, I thought Ace Combat was like a airplane game. It is. Oh, <laughs> I'm so confused, man. <laughs> I think I just need to look up Ace Combat at some point. I feel like Ace Combat's kind of like Kingdom Hearts, where like the Disney oh, worlds sure, don't sure. matter, and you know the airplane fighting don't matter. It's about them sweet, sweet cutscenes, you know. Did this place change? And yeah, actually, I do have some uh, bombs. There's a uh, rock over here. <laughs> oh yeah, you see it. I was still trying to find the uh, the milk molar thing. Yeah, I don't know where it's at either. But what did it do? Did it tell you? It just popped up and said, like, you got a milk molar. That's all it did. Oh, shit, my torch is depleted. I think I have another. Do I have another? Oh, shit, did I give you my other torch? Bro, you might need to come lead the way. Hold on. Oh, it just circles back up around. Back up to where we just jumped down from. That's kind of a waste of a milk molar, but... Or not a milk molar, but a, uh, whatchamacallit. 
Oh. So the milk molar is like a currency, and then you use the milk mer milk molar at Burgle to upgrade things. Oh, I think okay. That's how that works. Okay. That works. Because now if you hit, ex or you go into your inventory, over by the raw science, it shows a one. And then okay. there's a mega milk molar, that's the one to the right of it, and we have none of those. I so, do yeah, see that we, we have, have a quest too to go to the ASL terminal, <clears throat> so, makes sense. Brown, red, black, all the colors of the ant rainbow. Do you have any plant fiber on you by any chance? Uh, not on me, I don't think. I just want to make some slime mold torches, because... Bro, I don't even fight them. They're <laughs> just a waste. Just run around. Oh, this one's almost dead. I'm killing it. Where the f fuck do we go? I don't remember. That's so dark. It's not the stream, guys. You literally just can't see anything. I found another cache of food on the ground. Where are you? I got torches. Right here. Let's go. Okay, lead the way. Yo, oh, that's marble. Where am I going? I don't know. I have no idea. One of the one of the doors, but I don't remember which door. Uh, it's... Let's go to B. No, this is where we this just came way. from. Oh shit! I already checked that one. I think we can check it again, but I'm pretty sure I already checked that one. Isn't yeah, it just took to us up top one? up there. No, it Isn't just took that us to the, the two top. doors. Bro, this ant's gonna kill me. We gotta kill it. What do you mean? How is oh, an ant gonna more. kill you, dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, it just loops around up top here. And then back out to where we just were. Oh, there's another door right here. Okay, check that one out. Oh, wait, no, it's not. That was just light. Hey, it, uh, slime mold, if you need it. Yeah, well, you need plant fiber. Oh. I don't have any plant fiber. What goes this way? Oh, uh, another cracked rock. I don't want to... I do have one more bomb, but if the door resealed, we'll need it to get into the into the boss. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Besides what you just wrote, has amazing music and gameplay is hella fun. I have to check them out at some point. Like... Uh, Optijack said, I, I think I remember it. That looks good. Maybe that's where we're going. Anyways, I I thought I remembered it from when I was a kid, but obviously I didn't play enough of it because, like, <laughs> I do not remember all of the crazy shit in it. Why'd I attack you? Okay, here's the, the bed. So we can at least set a respawn point. And this is where we just started the game at. So we can't be too far. Because we would respawn here and then we would go straight to the boss. We did it like two or three times. Yeah. Might want to drink some water oh, if you need it. And an and, uh, annihilator upgraded. Yay. Um, yeah. I'll stay hydrated. I'm gonna go ahead and use my last old fiber bandage. I'm not picky. Okay, so from here, we can go where? Do we just follow the cord, maybe? What's up, black ant here? You mind your business? I'll mind mine. I'm just following the cord and seeing where that goes. I don't know where you're at. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Wait, this where looks did right. You go? I followed the cord as soon as you exit that room. No, oh. I just followed the cord, and I think it's the right one because this looks. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. This looks super familiar. To copy paste, there was no other AC games beside three that featured any weird or heavy themes. Oh, and it was only the Japanese version. What? <laughs> It was translated around seven years ago, and you happen to play it as your first AC game on your PS1 two weeks ago. What the hell? 
that's weird, man. That's like, uh, excuse me. It's like I, I tried out Dragon Guard for the PS2 Gauntlet the other day, and uh, one of the guys watching informed me that uh, the secret, one of the secret endings for Dragon Guard, is trippy as shit and actually is what led to Near uh, Automata being a thing. <laughs> and like, I never would have thought those two franchises were in any way linked to each other. Like, it makes no damn sense at all. But <laughs> apparently, that's Bro, how it happens. So, Devil May Cry was the. Uh... A Resident Evil game? I I want to say I when heard that were, on like a Did You Know Gaming episode at some point or yeah, something. Yeah, when they were making Resident Evil 4, uh, they wanted to do something different. And it got so absolutely wild that they were like, yeah, let's not make this a Resident <laughs> Evil game. So nice. they made Devil May Cry nice. and then remade what became resident evil 4 should we throw down a heel boss up before we start how long does it last i have no idea bro they don't really give you great descriptions no they don't they honestly don't make sure your food and stuff's full too before we get started yeah it is mine's not i'm eating pieces of apples and oreos that the ants collected there you go i'm full um all right well I say we just go then. You ready? Well, yeah, let's do this. Are you ready? Nope. We're definitely oh, doing so more damage down. now. A lot more damage than we were before. Okay, he's yeah, doing he's the, the ground shocky though. thing. Lasers. Ow. Let's go. Ow. Okay, my health is pretty good, but I feel like, man, I'm just... Ah, I don't know. I'm so tempted to just pop a heal bossa, but, like, I don't know... When is actually a good time to pop it, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, the fucking lasers. Okay, I'm popping the Hibasa on the ground. How do you throw it? There we go, I got it. Oh shit! Okay, what? that did not work. I mean, that didn't work. It didn't do anything! Is it like an instantaneous heal? I think so, yeah, not like an area of effect. Bro, I'm gonna fucking die. Straight up. I'm I'm about to die. Son of a bitch! <laughs> you might have to wait for the zappy zap to stop before you can Bruh. <laughs> uh, bro, oh what? no, dude! How did I die so quick? I was at like full uh, health. Oh dude, why is this so fucking we can get it. Shit. I still have oh enough heals to do stuff. I think yeah, I, I do too, but like... Why is it so fucking hard, man? Jesus Christ. There's gotta be like... I wonder if we killed the wolf spider, if we would get access to like level 3 weapons and armor. Because this feels like some level 3 weapon and armor bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> Till you believed it was common knowledge that all Yokotaro games are connected to each other, that Dragon Guard ending leads into near Gestalt and near Replicant until now. Yeah, I had no idea that they were all connected, man. And to be fair, like I never really knew him as a game designer or anything. Like when I was younger, I played a little bit of Dragon Guard, but I've never played any of the near games. I don't know anything about any of the other games that he might have worked on. So, like, I had no clue, like, until recently that they were connected in any way. And as a kid, I never even played that much Guard. I just saw the box art for it and was like, that looks pretty sick. You know, like, <laughs> and then played it and realized it was just, like, Dynasty Warriors to knock off, basically, and never really messed with it again after that until recently. Now I want to try more of it, but, like, yeah. You coming, my guy? 
sure am. Ah. Uh. What? You good? We need to just get all these soldier ants to go in there and have them kill the <laughs> fucking. Us. Yeah. Can't you tame insects in this game? I don't know, man. I think there's some way with like the slurry or some shit, but. Bro, it's in here. It's not gonna do anything though. <laughs> like, it's attacking me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it's not actually gonna fight the people we wanted to fight. Don't kill it. I'm gonna kill Don't it. Don't kill it. It's just gonna Don't kill do it. damage Don't do to it. us otherwise. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, then you kill it. No. Leave him. He's my friend. <laughs> Stop. He's just gonna make it harder Stop. for us to win. Your friend's dead. Alright, well, here we go. I wonder if it's possible for us to just tank the damage and just... No, I don't think so, dude. You die so quick, like... There's gotta be, like, some sort of trick into taking him out, man. This is the part, like, when the zappy zap starts, man. That's what an, I, I don't know what to do at that point. Like, like the lasers, those aren't too bad to deal with. But when the yeah, fucking where can arc not reactors start at? going... Is the arc reactor going now? I don't think so. No. It does look a little. Now. Oh god. Are you safe? Yeah, right here. Oh god damn it. Okay, they're back again. Maybe if we just stand here and like shoot them with arrows. Yeah, dude. Just like get a shit ton of heals and just peck them with the. Oh wait, okay. No, the things aren't going. Get heals by smashing them. When the things aren't going. Things are going. They're going again. Dude, we're close. The laser. Oh, fuck. I got hit by something. It hurts. I only have two heals left. Yo, they stopped. They stopped. Oh, they're back up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, the fucking laser's about to shoot. Dude, we got this this I'm time. Out, I'm we got out of this. Arrows. We got this. Oh wait, they stopped, they stopped. They're back. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Bruh. Let's freaking go, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was still spinning. <laughs> I was just fucking... Oh, I was just so happy that he died. All right. Ooh. Dude, imagine if we both died and that respawned the boss. Like, <laughs> that would be such bullshit, dude. Let's go. Okay. Reliable friend. 
Yeah, one second. Nice, dude. Nice. Your friend, dude. Oh, revive speed. Oh, that's that's cool. All right, so now what? Can we use the manager's key card anywhere? Right here. Let's go. Yeah, I had one heal left. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, I'm like starving to death too. No wonder I could hardly hit anything. Oh yeah, I'm hungry too. Um, let's eat some damn food real quick. <laughs> That'll probably help a ton. About serial experiments, that thing is not just an anime. After the anime, you're forced to play the PS1 game that came out shortly after the anime for the full story. Currently occupied with playing it, of course, again, it's Japan only, of course. All of the cool stuff's Japan only. That's why I'm slowly working on learning Japanese. Slowly. <laughs> Finally studying it again after years of neglect. What's this? Zero of eight? Oh, this is the arc reactor stuff. Okay, so if we take out all those arc reactor things, the ones that are like the waves of people, I'm assuming we can open this door and do something. I have no mm -hmm. idea what's on the other side of it, but... Is there any loot or anything in here? No, it looks pretty much empty. Okay. Well, there's another door. There's key card. Is this the chip? Black Ant Super Chip. There we go, dude. We got the chip. The production of raw science concentrate has so a picture of the dude. Don't know if we really need that, but... There's just a picture of him on the desk over here if you want to take a look. Punch him a couple times, you know, for being a dick. Yeah, he kind of <laughs> looks like David. No, he's got too much hair. Like, David with hair, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna happen. Here I stand, naked, naked, to the unblinking eyes spying upon my every move. Wait, what's he going on about? I wasn't really I don't listening know. to I him. Say naked twice, <laughs> yeah. though. Like a frumpy naked failure onion. <laughs> what? But who sheds a tear the fuck? For us, you notice a theme of existential, heavy, dark themes in 90s anime? I mean. Yeah, <laughs> with all the shit that went on, you know, around like World War II and whatnot, obviously the 90s is a little after, but, you know, the, the people that were teenagers and stuff in World War II, that's like prime age for them to start making anime, the 90s, so it makes sense, honestly. Oh, dude, okay, this just took us back to the surface. So I say, it's already after 2. Do you want to turn that in tonight real quick? Or do you want to hop off and turn it in next week? That's up to you, bro. Or not next week, but whenever. Hmm. Let's, let's turn it in real quick so we can be back at home whenever we start the other one. Uh. Okay. How do we get there, though? Uh, where's the tree? Oh god, the tree is gone. No, it's not. I'm just blind. Is this the tree? I think this is the tree. Yeah, Oak Lab. Oh, we're gonna need our gas mask. I don't know what mask you're wearing, but... I'm all geared up. I've got my gas mask on now. Oh. What mask do you normally wear? Um... E find this shit. Where's the goggles. Mask? Did you never make yourself one of those uh, ones to make your bow more powerful no like, i don't i, I rarely my use my gas bow. mask you're wearing it bro oh jesus christ dude <laughs> <laughs> i thought i was wearing my my marksman cap or whatever like no i'm head pretty off sure bed. you wear the gas mask tomorrow. the entire time plan to sleep right after it nice have a good night ruth thanks for coming and hanging out with us man appreciate it Ghost in the Shell, heck, that thing as well. AC3 and Ghost in the Shell were animated by the same studio? I didn't know they had a uh, Ace Combat anime, even, until you mentioned it. I had no idea. I never watched uh, Ghost in the Shell. Me neither. I've seen some pieces of it, but I never watched like enough for it to really count or anything. I never fully watched Cowboy Bebop either. Oh, wait, there is no anime? I thought you said after you play AC3, you had to watch... Oh, the cutscenes were done by them? 
But I thought you said that after you played AC3, you had to play a or watch a uh, anime to get the full. Or no, that was something else you were talking about then, huh? I'm sorry, my short-term memory is kind of crap. I remember you saying something about having to play a game after watching an anime or vice versa, though. But I do like whenever uh, animation studios do the um, do the cutscenes for games. That's one of the really cool things about oh that Pokemon-like game, Nino Kuni. Oh, mm. about the lane experiment thing. Okay, 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 okay. I gotcha. But uh, Nino Kuni had Studio Ghibli do the cutscenes for for it, and it's just fucking dude, whatever. Dude. Get around to Persona three, four, and five. They have anime cutscenes as well. But were they made by Studio Ghibli? No, I'm. Then, I don't know who mm, made their mm, cutscenes. They're kind mm. of ass, if we're gonna be honest. <laughs> like really? they're better than nothing, but <laughs> I uh, what's I? Bro, I hate this fucking giant void in my heart. Um, probably see a doctor about that. Anyways. What was I saying, even? I don't remember. Oh, ni uh, not Nino Kuni. Studio Ghibli, they made that newer, like, 3D animation. <clears throat> I haven't watched the movie yet, but the trailers have me so, like, iffy about it. Which I'm just not... I don't know, man. I... I'm not going to pass judgment until I see it, but I, I, from the trailers, I might need to get off soon. I'm losing my voice. From the trailers, man, I wish uh, Ghibli would have just stayed with their hand-drawn 2D anime look, because, like, they make some of the best animation in the world, man. It's just, it's just beautiful. Real quick, before you leave, Ghost in the Shell anime opening, that thing is <laughs> was your lullaby for years? Nice, dude. Nino Kuni was completely written and the music composed by Ghibli. I didn't know they wrote the music. I knew they did the uh, the cutscenes, but I thought I can't remember the name of the the, the development studio. I want to say Team Seventeen, but that's not right. <laughs> that's that's not right at all. Um, but anyways, I thought they wrote the story, like maybe in conjunction with Ghibli. But yeah, because like Nino Kuni Two and the the new MMO weren't those like done without the help of Ghibli? Maybe I misread something at some point, but I could have swore, like, Nino Kuni 2 and Nino Kuni um, MMO, whatever the hell that's called, were both done without Ghibli. Which is another reason, I guess, why I wouldn't have thought that Ghibli had wrote the whole thing. But I didn't go that deep into reading about it, so I'm sure you're right. I just, yeah. Didn't know. Steal your honeydew. Take that ant. Are you still following? There you are. You're coming. You're coming. You're awfully quiet, my guy. Did my mic break? No, we're good. Okay. Did your mic break? Did he disconnect? Bro, are you good? Hello. There he Hello. is. Now he's back. <laughs> Dude, my mic disconnected. Okay. I was talking I was like, this entire time. <laughs> I was like, man, he hasn't said anything in a while. You good? And then you didn't say anything, and then I turned back, and you're just not moving. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> Did the game break again? Every time we stream this game, man, it has to break. <laughs> okay, we good. The Nino Kuni anime adaptation had no involvement of Ghibli. You have not heard of an MMO existing, though? Yeah, it's like... uh. I don't know if it's like a true MMO, but it is multiplayer. I believe it's mobile and PlayStation, maybe. Maybe mobile, PC, and PlayStation. I don't remember what all it came out for, but I know it came out for a couple different platforms. Or at least was in beta for a couple different platforms, because I saw some YouTubers playing it. I don't know if it's had its like official release yet or not. Uh, since we're over here, wasn't there a milk molar like not far from here? I thought so. We should probably go ahead and pick that up, too. I think it's by the lake. I'm just on the other side here. I'm trying to remember where any of the Mega Milk Molars were, because I know we've come across a couple of them. 
Yeah, I, I don't, don't remember where any of them should have marked them. Yeah, probably, but that requires being good at games. Here we go. It's behind this can, I think. Yeah, I'm in a can. Get out of the can. It's behind the can, not in the can. Oh, I wanted to see what was inside <laughs> the can. Wait, have you really so, never been in the can? I don't think so. There's a water droplet. That was it. Yeah, there's nothing fun in there. <laughs> I was going to let you collect this one so you can see what it's like since you were ignoring it last time. Where are you? Oh, I don't you. know. Where are you? Under the can. You just go behind the can, and then it's right underneath it. Oh, bro, I'm at your mark. <laughs> I ran to your mark. Oh, my God, dude. Honestly, it's nothing too fancy. It just looks like a raw science thing, basically. Just an amorphous blob. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's that? You want me to just crawl in toward it? No. Oh, it's so shiny, though. I can't resist. Just look at it. Just, oh, man. Oh, look. Look. It's so, it's so pretty, though. <laughs> Mm. It kind of looks like a troll face, man. The you have collected a milk molar pop up that comes up. Tree of Wait, a troll Flowers face. blooming in the church is a part of which soundtrack? Nope. No idea, dude. <laughs> you are asking the wrong person. I have no memory for anything. And yeah, troll face. Think you know the meme? Yeah. Final Fantasy 7? That, that though, makes bro. sense. That makes a ton of sense. But, <laughs> yeah, I never would have been able to tell you that, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever listened to the full soundtrack for Final Fantasy 7. Like, obviously, I've heard the music in the games. Or in the game. Well, games, I guess, because there is the remake now. But, yeah. It's Blasphemy. Nice I'm sorry. <laughs> Toenails, the tiny and practical spatulas at the end of human digits. What? No, no, no. The last ingredient. Beginning cocktail. Is that like the end game item? Yeah, it's what we need to like turn big again. Well, I, I mean, I figured that much. Uh, okay. So he's in a chair by the shed. Okay, so we have to find the doctor. And he'll help us make the, the thing. That's, that's all he told us. I don't want to talk to you anymore. So is this the ASL terminal? Yeah, here we go. Molar infusion upgrades. So we can increase max health, max stamina, hunger, thirst, strain, our healing, or max active mutations. Oh, that one requires three. So we could upgrade, what do you say, max health, max stamina? Yeah. Hunger, thirst, strain is whatever, but... Do we want to wait until we can upgrade max health again, or do we want to take max stamina or healing? Ooh. I don't know, dog. And you call yourself a fan? <laughs> I love Final Fantasy VII, but yeah, no, I don't think I've ever listened to the actual so soundtrack for it outside of the in-game music. Because, wait, did your max health go up or just mine? When you look at your health bar, is oh, there an I extra saw, section saw... to it? No, and I still have two of my milk. Oh, molars. nice. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so it's we can upgrade individually. Bruh. Where'd my drink go? You upgrade your... Oh, okay. okay. Did you do health and I just stamina? did health. Um, I think I am going to do stamina, though, because stamina means we can attack a lot more at a time. Ooh. Hmm. With the Mega Molars, you can get max consumable stack size, max resource stack size, and max, max arrow stack size increase. Very nice, man. I don't, I don't know if I really care about that stuff that much, though, to be honest with you. Like, not having to go back to base as often would be nice, but... Well, we can do advanced production now. 
What's that? Advanced mean? smithing. Oh, cool, cool. Okay. Advanced uh, production buildings. So we make oven, an oven, mushroom. What? We already have mushroom slurry and brick. Bro, let but me on the turn. Ovens we don't have. Let me on the turn. I gotta, I gotta do my upgrade. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is the wrong one. Oops, this one. Next thing. Man. There we go. Oh, you didn't buy any of them, though. Buy any of what? No. The advanced. I was consulting with you. Yeah, I bought them all. Waft emitter? Piss off bugs. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to piss off the bugs? I don't know. What? Okay. Buff long. I was just seeing if there's any better weapons or anything, but no. All right. Well, I think that's it, man. Oh, let's run home real quick so we can set our spawn point. And then we're done. Because your boy's voice is dying. Why are you always following me, man? What do you mean? Every time I turn around, you're just like, you take all the same wrong turns that I do and shit. I don't know my exit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how long those advanced recipes have been available. That's might be what we needed to make like level three gear and shit. <laughs> Probably. Where are the wasps? When you were looking at the update log, did you happen to I see don't know. that? No. Not that I want to fight any of the wasps, but like, I am curious though. What do we like be we like? Kill now? this wolf spider. Dude, no. I'm not trying it. Not right now. We can try it next week though. Or it's almost dead we'll though. Is it for real? Why is it almost dead? Yeah. I'm shooting it. And it's glitched out. Oh, well, I didn't know it was glitched out. I just don't want to risk dying because. You won't die. Keep shooting. It is not almost dead. It's not even halfway yet, dude. <laughs> almost. It will be. Should have asked, do you even like then... that dark stuff from the late 90s? I didn't watch a whole lot of anime when I was a kid um, because there wasn't much anime available on, like, Cartoon Network. <laughs> you know what I mean? Outside of, like, Dragon Ball Z, Full Metal Alchemist, shit like that. And I did watch that stuff and enjoyed the hell out of it. Um... Since I've gotten older, I haven't really gone back and watched very much anime. Because time. <laughs> I did like, yeah. Uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion was really good. Um, I've never actually watched Ghost in the Shell. I've seen a part or two of it, but I've never really like sat down and watched it. I liked all the ones that were on Cartoon Network, though. You know, like your um, Trigun and... Full Metal and Dragon Ball Z and all that shit. Oh, my inventory is full. I can't even pick up any Spider of that Fang. Shit. Spider Venom. Mutation detected. Mithridatism. I do want to watch Ghost in the Shell, though. It's one of the ones that have been on my list for a long time. Hope you don't die of poison, dude. I got all this healing, bro. Let's go. About the movies. No, I've never seen the movies either. I have very little time to do stuff <laughs> um, between working at my, my real job about 45 hours a week. And then I do this four times a week, the streaming. I uh, work on video games and stuff when I'm not streaming. And then, of course, I have my girlfriend and a house that I have to cook for and help clean and all that BS. So, like... I just don't have much time outside of streaming to play video games or uh, watch movies or anime or anything like that. And Mr. Noodle, my girlfriend, doesn't like anime really for the most part. So when I do have time to just sit down and watch something, it's usually with her. You know, so we watch like whatever one of the couple like hundred movies. Not really. Like she likes, you know, like Pokemon 
for instance. But no, she's not really a anime fan. Um, but anyways, yeah. So whenever we we have time to just sit down and watch something, we're usually watching something that you know we'd both enjoy, like one of the hundreds of movies that we own that we've never got to watch, or one of the series RuPaul's on television that we're slowly Race. catching up on, shit like that. Got to pay you to watch Tokyo Revengers at this point. <laughs> It's been on my list since you've mentioned it, but uh, I've watched one episode of Machina Bridge because Chocobo's been bothering me about that, and they're only like seven minutes long. But like, I really just don't have much time to watch stuff, man. It's sad, but it's true. That's how it began. They decided 15 years later to make an anime series based on those two movies. Ah, okay. See, I didn't realize it started as movies and then turned into to, to regular anime. But anyways, guys, my voice is dying on me. And it's already 2.30, I think that mm. says. Holy shit, yeah. So we're already yeah, a little bit late. Yeah, <laughs> seven hours, broski. So we getting off of here because we got work and shit tomorrow. But thank you guys for joining us. I'm excited that we finally got the fourth chip and uh, we can oh, no. go and fight the final boss, I guess. But Are until, we getting the good ending? Uh, we can try. We got to find that secret boss wherever it's at to do it. We can try to do that, though. I want the good ending. I would like to get it, too. I kind of want to see both endings, though, to be honest. So, like, I don't know if maybe we can, like, make a backup of the save and then do the normal ending yeah. and then go back and do the good ending. We'll figure something out. But anyways, guys, until next time, uh, have a wonderful night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Goodbye. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Later, guys.